Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to To Be Like Christ. Today we're talking about the Apostle Peter. He's a very famous character in Bible history, so if you have never heard of him before, you're just looking for some introductory material, this is a good place to be. And as with a lot of our videos, we've got a handout for this one. You can download this actually for free on our website. There's a link down in the description below to tobelikechrist.com. So, Peter. Who was he? Well, I've, I've kind of labeled him under the title of imperfection used by a perfect God. I think Peter is a good example for all of us that we aren't defined by our failures and that God can do great things through us by his power, even though maybe in the past we've, we've messed it up. Peter was one of Jesus' 12 apostles, Jesus' closest associates and students while he was on the earth. And I think Peter's life is a good example of just how much a person can change when they have a genuine encounter with Jesus. So when was Peter born? Well, nobody knows for sure. The Bible doesn't tell us. Secular history doesn't have any record of it. Most people think that he was probably around the age of Jesus, maybe a little bit younger. So perhaps he was born around 1 AD. Now let's talk about a very high level summary of Peter's life and his ministry. So as we mentioned, he was one of the 12 apostles. He was prob he's probably today the most well known of those 12 men. When Jesus first met him, he was employed in the fishing business with his brother Andrew on the Sea of Galilee up near the town of Capernaum. The two brothers left their fishing business behind to become students of Jesus. The reason is, is because they believed him to be the Christ, the prophesied Messiah that the Jewish prophets had talked about and promised for years. Peter spent about three years with Jesus every single day, listening to him, hearing him teach, watching him perform miracles. Those years were definitely formative for Peter, and they were marked by moments of great faith, but they were also marked by moments of clear immaturity. Peter's faith led him to do things like get out of the boat on the Sea of Galilee and walk on the water with Jesus. They also led him to confess. He was the first one of the apostles to confess that Jesus was the Christ when Jesus asked them about his identity in Matthew chapter 16. But he definitely was a little bit immature, and he didn't quite understand Jesus's plan and his, his ultimate mission on earth. And that led him to receive several stern rebukes from Jesus for saying kind of stupid things. And it also led him into what would be really the, probably the biggest mistake of his life. On the night that Jesus was arrested, right before his crucifixion, Peter, out of fear, out of confusion about what was going on, he denied knowing Jesus three times. He betrayed his friend. But luckily, that's not where Peter's story ends. Uh, there's a happy ending. Jesus, after his crucifixion, three days later, is going to resurrect from the dead. And Peter would reconcile his friendship with Jesus. And he would become a very key figure in the early church. And God, for the next couple decades, would use him in powerful ways. That's what we read about Peter in the gospel accounts, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But Peter also plays a key role in the book of Acts, especially in the first 12 chapters. It's Peter who, in Acts chapter 2, gets up and he, he preaches that sermon, or he talks to the Jews uh, who have gathered for the feast day, and he convinces them, he convicts them with the help of the Holy Spirit that Jesus is the Christ, and they need to become his disciples. Peter's also the one who's privileged in Acts chapter 10 to invite the Gentiles into the kingdom of God for the first time when he goes to Cornelius' house. And the last thing that we'll mention here is that two of Peter's epistles or letters to the early church are preserved for us that we can read in the Bible today. They are 1 Peter and 2 Peter. Jesus' ministry pro probably started around 26, 27 AD. And Peter would be alive working in that church for the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, and part of the 60s AD. And it's probably somewhere between 64 and 68 AD when Peter is killed for his faith in Jesus. It's almost certain that Peter was a martyr or somebody who died for their faith. Later historical writers record that Peter was killed in the city of Rome and that he was crucified. And for if you want to look into that more, you can look at verses like John chapter 21, verse 18. You can also look at the writings of a guy named Clement and a guy named Origen, and there are some other sources out there as well. So that's kind of the quick rundown of the Apostle Peter. There's so much more in the Bible that 
you know, we, we can't get to in a short video like this, but I'd encourage you to look into him more and maybe look into some of these events and the details surrounding them that we've mentioned. If you would like the handout, if you'd like to share this maybe with somebody else or use it in a Bible class or to introduce somebody else to Peter or some of the Bible characters, there's this resource and several others, and there's a number of resources being added on a daily basis on our website, so you can click that link down below and it'll take you there. And until perhaps tomorrow, Lord willing, I'll see you later.